Our next speaker is Gary Galo, who also needs practically no introduction, but I'm giving him one anyway. He's been an ARSC member since 1982, a reviewer for the ARSC Journal since 1989, was the sound recording review editor of the ARSC Journal from 1995 to 2012, and co-chair of the ARSC Technical Committee from 1996 to 2004. He's been a frequent presenter at ARSC conferences and has authored several articles for the ARSC Journal. Gary is the author of over 280 articles and reviews on both technical and musical subjects. He's a regular contributor to Audio Express magazine, periodically reviews books for Notes, Quarterly Journal of the Music Library Association, has written for Linear, Linear Audio, the newsletter of the Wilhelm Furtwängler Society of America, and is the author of the loudspeaker entry in the Encyclopedia of Recorded Sound in the United States. Next month, he will be fully retired after 38 years as audio engineer at the Crane School of Music at SUNY Potsdam after a three and a half year halftime phase out. Please welcome Gary Galo. If you don't have a copy of the handout, I apologize. When they put me on a classical music section, I bring 50 copies and I have 44 left over. Uh, I obviously underestimated the level of interest today. I'm on, the Potsd I'm on the SUNY Potsdam website. If you'd like a handout, email me and I'll be happy to send you one. So are we ready to go? Very good. <clears throat> Well, the Crane School of Music at SUNY Potsdam had a long relationship with Nadia Boulanger, arguably the 20th century's most famous music teacher. Helen M. Hosmer was the director of the Crane Department of Music and its predecessor, the Crane Normal Institute, from 1929 until her retirement in 1966. And in 1931, she founded Crane Chorus, beginning a tradition of performing major choral works that continues to this day. In the summer of 1925, Hosmer traveled to France with a group of students to study with Boulanger. As a result of the friendship that developed between them, Boulanger guest conducted Crane Chorus five times between 1939 and 1962. Back in 2000,